Well, it's Bob Ross and Thunder Down Under. Well, the shirt's about tobacco. Uh, well, today we've been talking about oracles. And if you ever heard of the I Ching, it's the Chinese oracle. You might have heard of the tarot cards, which is another form of divination. Trying to figure out what the universe is trying to tell us. Um, they're quite easy, you know, to get these things. Uh, you can get a good book um, on the I Ching. And, damn it, I left it upstairs. Uh, but get yourself a good book. And a tarot card. I got lots of decks of tarot cards. And it's just my intuition which one I pick. And, uh, anyways, what's the point of getting an oracle reading? Mm. Trying to make sense of what's going on in the world at large or your family group. If you had a client, you yourself, what's going on with your dog. Yeah, all these possibilities might come to mind. Uh, the magic of it all happens because there's nothing but magic here. Nothing but magic. The quantum field is magic. It's my, you might as well call it the magic field. You know, quantum, no one understands. It sounds mathematical. But magic is what it is. Pardon me, I'm starting to taste my lunch. Magic field. The quantum field, it's magic. And is there intelligence behind it? Sometimes I question. On balance of probabilities, I do believe there is a super consciousness, which is, is it the same as God? Or is it more like the Tao? The Tao doesn't seem to be as personal as God. So sometimes it's a different reality box you can use, and it gets you out of these religionist ideas about God. And that's... Oh, it's, it's bloody difficult. It just breaks my mind. It breaks my mind. I'm Bob Ross for your daily enlightenment. I don't think I enlighten myself. I'm terribly sorry if you're confused. Welcome to the club. Let's go get enlightened.